From prose to poetry to printmaking, the Louisiana Book Festival plays matchmaker between authors and readers with more than 200 writers and presenters turning out for author talks, book signings, book launches, and honorary recognitions including the Louisiana Writer Award, which goes to New Orleans native and LSU creative writing assistant professor, Maurice Carlos Ruffin, for his books and short stories. Where I'm from New Orleans is one of the most interesting places in the world. The music, the people, the food, the architecture, there's always stories being told, people have such a joy to vive. And so it's kind of easy, it's almost like, you know, free money to, to write stories about people who have such a vibrant spirit. I want readers to feel a sense of entertainment, enjoy when you read my work. As the 24th award winner, Maurice joins the ranks of other Louisiana literary greats, including Ernest J. Gaines, the first recipient of the Louisiana Writer Award by the Louisiana Center for the Book in the State Library System, host of the annual event. We call our festival a celebration of readers, writers, and books. And we place readers first because it's a really a reader focused festival. Our focus is on Louisiana authors and books set in Louisiana or about Louisiana. But we know that Louisiana readers don't just read Louisiana writers or about Louisiana. So we have people coming from all over the country. In the book signing tent, Haley Arsenault autographed her latest book, Wild Ride. The 2003 LPB Young Heroes Award winner chronicles her travels in space as an ambassador for St. Jude's Children's Hospital. I came out with the adult version of Wild Ride last year and recently just came out with the Young Readers Edition. Haley, at age 29, joined Inspiration 4, the first all-civilian orbital space mission, which launched on September 15, 2021, making Haley the youngest American to orbit the Earth, the first pediatric cancer survivor in space, and the first astronaut with a prosthetic body part. The book is about my life story, and it, it goes through um, being diagnosed with cancer as a 10-year-old and going through cancer treatment, really that life-changing experience and, and the purpose that it gave me so much that I wanted to work with other kids with cancer at the same hospital where I was treated at St. Jude. What do you want readers to get out of your books? One of the biggest messages that I have is um, the importance of holding on to hope. I really wanted this message of saying yes to opportunities that could change your life, even opportunities that scare you. From music to mysteries, biographies to fan fiction, there's a story that speaks to almost any interest. The name of the book is The Hidden History of Louisiana's Jazz Age. I am a musician, hadn't played my horn in a long time. I heard Alan Toussaint's album, The Bright Mississippi, the day after he died in 2016. Just started finding, researching about musicians, finding these interesting stories. And after about three years, I had half a book. Writing a page turner that finds a publisher and a fan base is no easy feat. Writers often put pen to page, wondering if their work will connect with an audience, which is why the Louisiana Book Festival aims to introduce readers to new authors and genres. I got this book called Under the Hinfluence. It is a book inside um, the world of raising chickens in your own backyard. I do not have chickens, but I find them super fascinating and they are a big part of Louisiana rural culture. So I'm excited to read this and I'm hoping to pick up a book by um, one of the Louisiana poet laureates as well. And poet laureates were present, including Louisiana poet laureate Mona Lisa Saloy, who recently finished her two-year post as Louisiana's literary ambassador. It's a thrill, and it's a learning experience. Every time I come, I learn something new. There are great books that I know about. I learn about new authors, great books, and I go home with way too many. But. <laughs> Writing in or about a state populated with fascinating people, peculiar customs, quirks, and evocative landscapes makes Louisiana the ideal antidote to writer's block. Perhaps that's why the state is fertile ground for so many literary works. Louisiana has a wonderful and horrific history. It's got a horrific history of slavery. It's a gumbo of cultures, French, Spanish, Italian, 
German, Haitian, and all of these things come together to make a wonderful place where you can write about almost anything. Mike Rubin and his wife Ian co-write thrillers. Their latest book is A White Hot Plan. It's about a disgraced New Orleans homicide detective who stumbles across a terrorist plot to bomb the French Quarter. The book festival venues stretched from the state library to the state capitol, where several sports writers debuted books about Louisiana legends. I asked him, I said, so how many people are, being, are benefiting today from what Dale Brown did? And the answer was 500,000. Glenn Gilbo gave a talk about his new book, Everything Matters in Baseball, the Skip Bertman story. Won five national championships as LSU's baseball coach in the 1990s, and then he became athletic director. And it's all about the days at the old Alex Box and in Omaha, where he became famous. And among the many Louisiana stories told here at the festival, you'll find LPB's own book, Why Louisiana Ain't Mississippi or Any Place Else. It's the companion book to the very popular documentary by the same name. Ranked as one of the top 10 book festivals in the country, the Louisiana Book Festival celebrated its 19th year, bringing together readers of all ages and authors at all levels, from emerging writers to award winners.